Hi, and thanks for joining us on the Great South East. Although I must say, today it feels more like Southeast Asia inside this bamboo forest. It's a garden on the Gold Coast that I'll be taking you to a little bit later in the show, and I'll tell you how you can visit it as well. <laughs> Welcome back to the Great South East. I'm at Bamboo Down Under in the Gold Coast hinterland where Stuart yeah. from Mudo Martial Arts is doing a very convincing impression of a samurai swordsman. Stuart's show is just part of the fun when these beautiful demonstration yeah. gardens open to the public this winter for the Australian Open Garden Scheme. So join me for a sneaky peek later. Rick Warwick from Bamboo Down Under on the Gold Coast reckons he has every book ever written on the subject of bamboo. So when did the love of bamboo begin for you? Uh, when I was a kid, probably when I was about five. Uh, I remember playing in that particular bamboo right there actually in the Botanical Gardens of Brisbane. You know, you, you've made it into your life and a business, but you also really love the spiritual aspect that this bamboo, it, it does evoke those kind of feelings, doesn't it? Very much so. Uh, we always talk about how bamboo has a, an effect on the human psyche, the human spirit. And we set this nursery up here to show that. Uh, we've got all the different forests that people can chill out in. Our customers spend hours here just bring their lunch and, and just enjoy themselves. In fact, bamboo down under is a veritable jungle of delights. Apart from peaceful forests, there's a bamboozling maze for the kids and the astonishing land of the giants. Now, clearly, Rick, this has got to be the giant bamboo. This is our biggest one, Sophie, yeah. This particular shoot's only eight weeks old, believe it or not. Uh, if you came here ten weeks ago, there was no shoots here. Uh, that's how quickly they grow. That's uh, amazing. Eight weeks, you can always stand here and watch it happen. You can, yeah. They've been measured up to a metre and a half a day, bamboo shoots, of growth. These little shoots won't reach the sun. They're destined for the walk. So, Rick, you can do a whole bunch of things with bamboo. You can even eat it and Dar's here to do some cooking for us. But you've got the different types of bamboo. Can you eat all of it? Uh, not all of them, uh, Sophie. Uh, we've got a few different types here. Uh, this one's bamboo cyanamica. It comes from Arnhem Land. And uh, they actually harvest it up there. Uh, most times here they fight the crocodiles to get it very edible. So what is Dar doing? She's just prepping it to cook it? Just chopping the shoots up now. She will um, usually cook them for about 10 minutes uh, in salted water, uh, usually to taste. If it's still a bit tangy, give it another go after another 10 minutes. And you can pickle them too, right? Yes, Dar normally pickles her shoots. What do you think, Sophie? Mmm. Nice. That's really yummy. Expect cooking demonstrations, meditation classes and martial arts when Bamboo Down Under goes on show under the Australian Open Garden Scheme.